Team Chris of Philippines and welcome to my channel! Konnichiwa minasan! Watashi no chanere ni yakasu! Watashi Filipino Chris des! Hi everyone! Welcome back for another reaction video! And for today, I am watching Miss Momoko Japan, Foreigner's First Japanese Food. This video was suggested by this viewer. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Dewa sasuku! Hajime masho! Miss Momoka! Thank you so much for your time today! So my name is Aku and I'm from England. Uh, yeah, I've been in Japan for about two years. Uh, I'm Katrina. Um, I used to live for a few years in Japan. But I moved to um, Austria to study and now I'm back for the holidays for a bit. I'm French and Serbian. So, my question is, do you like Japanese food? Yeah, I love Japanese food. You love know Japanese so, uh, Of what course. What is your favorite Japanese food? Ramen. Yeah, <laughs> ramen, me too. Um, I like unagi. Unagi yeah, is good. Yeah, it's something you can never get in England. Oh, really? So, yeah, it's totally new to me. So today, you are going to try really traditional Japanese food that you can only get in Japan. Wow. That's amazing, I'm excited. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Okay. We are going to this one, Oreno Kappo. It looks amazing. It's super nice. It's very like Japanese, also very nice and classy. Mm -hmm. The food looks amazing around us. Yeah, it smells good in here. Yeah, like rose smell. Yeah, very excited. Very, very excited. excited. Yay! Yeah, let's... Seeing on everyone's tables looks amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> let's try something that you never tried before today. Okay. okay. Have you ever tried nodoguro? What is the fish is so juicy, fatty, and really tasty. It's not the one you die from, right? It's no, <laughs> it's no fugu. I think we should get this one. Okay. It's so good. Have you ever tried the fish testicle? <laughs> 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 Do you want to try it? I don't know. <laughs> You're not sure. You eat everything, right? Except yeah. for the fish test. <laughs> <Except for fish. laughs> Is there any Japanese food that you cannot stand? You can't eat? No, no. When I first got here, I think natto was like the strangest oh, yeah. food to eat. <laughs> but I think even that, like, I've learned to like. Really? Yeah, I think I still can do natto. And then? <laughs> yeah, natto is difficult to eat. I'm surprised actually that you can yeah. like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Honey cream croquet. Oh, whatever that is, croquet is nice. <laughs> never had honey cream croquet. Yeah, the croquet usually is a mashed potatoes and they're deep fried, right? But this one, no potato inside, only cream. Cream? Is it sweet? It's savory. Tell me, what brought you here in Japan? I think just wanting to experience like different culture. I was really lucky to get here, and my experience here has been like great so far. It's been amazing. Mm. Food especially is like amazing. What made you come back to Japan again? I just missed it a lot. Um, the friends, but also just yeah, the ramen. And stuff. <laughs> I live in Vienna, Austria. Vienna, okay. Can you get good ramen in Vienna? So they have ramen, but it's, it's really, you see it and you're like, no, that's not it. Uh, you know, my, my roommates are Austrian and German, and they're all like, oh, we have to go to this ramen shop. It's so good. Look at the photos, and it doesn't look authentic at all. And I know I'm going to be disappointed, uh, and it's like usually. Like it'd be around Sego Hakuen or like Nisein. That's for ramen. Yeah, That's right. That's so right. expensive. And for me, ramen is like the copper thing food you get for cheap. So uh -huh. like, no, no. Uh, you already know what ramen is. Right? Yeah. How are you guys enjoying living in Japan? Spending the time in Japan? It's so nice because you have always something to do. Like there's always things happening. And so because we work, like we have this art thing together. And like we, I was able to meet so many great artists. The creative I've seen it so exciting and I don't know, it's also very competitive so people are what they do they do it really well and like they know what they're doing. That's so true. That's so true. I'm so excited to go back to Kumbini. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah. You don't have a convenience store in Vienna? No. Oh. Like supermarkets they will close at 6 p.m. on Saturday and only open on Monday morning. Oh. So from like that's long. Uh -huh. Saturday until uh -huh. Monday morning, you cannot buy groceries. Oh, oh my. So inconvenient. Weekend. Man. Right. What do you miss the most about Japan when you are in Vienna? A lot of things. So food, obviously, and all these uh, cultural things. But public toilets. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you understand. 
<laughs> the only thing that Japan doesn't have that I think England and uh, Europe has a lot is bins. Oh. And things to throw your rubbish, throw your trash away. Like here, you have to find a convenience store every time. England, like, bins everywhere. That's so but here, cool. people are like polite enough to like keep their rubbish with them. Yeah. They like put it in their pocket, put it in Much their bag. Much better. No one, yeah, Europe, no one would do that. <laughs> People just, yeah, throw it where they do. <laughs> In my place, so unique. We don't have any beans, but we don't have garbage on the ground, right? Yes. Yeah, mm. oh, wow. So you told me you like sake? Yeah. I've never seen It's a big cup. White, cloudy. These are big, big cups. Yeah. Are yeah. We cannot do cheers. No, not at all. No. Uh. Mm. Wow, it's, really it's like milky! This is, this milky! Is so nice. very, so, this one's so sweet. So, uh, That's really a bit sweet too. Oh, actually. Yeah. This one is strong. Yeah. I know what you mean. Yeah, they just have like a different kind of uh, consistency. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely so good though. Really? This one is like, I could drink that easily. <laughs> really? <laughs> So, you guys, this is what cream colloque looks like. Cream colloque. <laughs> I can't imagine cream inside yeah. though. Oh, I'm gonna be so mad at I'm so scared. Oh, okay. I was imagining like whipped cream. <laughs> Okay, this looks so good. Yes. Crunchy. Okay, let's try it for the very first time. At the same time. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> ready. It's hot. <laughs> Yummy. Koroke. <laughs> mm. mm. So good. Mm. It's so creamy. Really? It's so nice. Like, well, yeah. Uh, you see lots of crab meat inside, right? Oh, crab meat. Oh my god, that's wow. so good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've never, I've never had a cream. Oh my god, this is nice. Yes, yeah, it's nice. See, this is good together. It's so good. Is it good? Yeah, I want to be able to get this at like combini. <laughs> Yeah, so crispy, not oily or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, it's nice. not oily. Yeah. It's the fry in the perfect way. Like, it's not when you eat fried stuff in Europe, America, it's like there's oil dripping. I know. Oh. Edamame. It's like giant edamame. Edamame. Yeah, I've never seen this before. I'm so excited for this. We call this soramame. Soramame. Ah, soramame. I'm so excited, right? And to tell people that it's, it's grilled. Cooking. This nice, yeah. It's typical isakaya menu. Oh, isakaya. Uh, you actually you use your hand to eat it. Okay. That's <laughs> nice. Oh, giant. <laughs> so big. I love the pizza. pizza. Wow. It actually is really different to like regular Yeah, but it's so cool. Yeah, that's so nice. <laughs> this is so good. Really? And I love putting things in salt, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my god. <laughs> so big. I was so like stupid when I first got to Japan <laughs> and the first time I ever went to a restaurant and ordered edamame like I ate like the whole bean <laughs> and I spent like 15 minutes oh my God. Like, chewing it <laughs> <laughs> why it was People so popular. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is not good at all. Um, and it was only when I finally saw someone else eat it that I realized what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bitch. Okay. Scary. Yeah, a little scary. A little scary. They're so funny. Yeah, oh, this, this, when you eat it, you're going to surprise how good it is. I think it smells really? amazing already. Uh -huh. This fish, we call it nodogura. Mm. Looks so soft. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Here you go. 
Let's try Nodoguro for the very first time. Nodoguro. I'm so excited. Wow, it's so soft. It just like falls apart. Wow. Wow, that's so much flavor. Really? Yeah, that's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. So nice. I love fish too. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> silence. It's just so good. I don't think I have the vocabulary to describe this. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. It's really rich. Like, it's very filling, even though it's like quite a small amount of fish. Uh -huh. Like, yeah, the flavor is so strong. Mm. And then, like, different parts, like, some are a bit more fatty than others. Oh, right! Mm. Oh, they got a little crust. <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful! I've never seen sushi this way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever tried mackerel sushi? Mackerel sushi? Oh. I have mackerel, but never mackerel sushi. Okay, so this is mackerel sushi, but it's pressed. All right, so you can see it's pressed, right? It's not like a fluffy rice. Okay, okay. The rice is pressed. Yeah, right. And this yeah. is uh, makaro. Mm -hmm. It's pickled yeah. makaro actually. Pickled makaro. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. And then this is pickled makaro, but it's abudi. It's grilled on top. Yeah. <laughs> okay, it's going to be a fast time trying it. Let's go. Oh my god. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm really impressed. Like, it's incredible. <laughs> Oh, it's big. Mm. That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. What? Yeah. yeah. What? That's a big piece. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like fatty enough. I like the giant sushi. Yeah. Giant like, sushi? Was, yeah, I wish more was like this. <laughs> it's giant sushi. Oh. Yeah, great choices. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, at first I thought it was a lot of rice, but yeah, the ratio is perfect. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like a <laughs> so now let's try this one. It's not grilled. Big portions. Yeah, the texture is totally different. It doesn't feel as fatty. So uh, I guess the fat hasn't like melted a bit and like been cooked. So it doesn't look so good. It looks, but when you look at it, it looks more like it, it looks like it's gonna be tough to chew. Uh huh. It's actually super soft. Yeah, you know, right? I'm putting the salmon in there. <laughs> Yummy. It's like really easy to eat. It also goes with sake. It's very well. It's been incredible. Oh. Yeah, it's like you're like, oh, it's really soft and it's good. Oh, how soft and it's good. I didn't think I'd be like surprised. It's just so good. And I think with these things, it's really the simplicity. <laughs> yeah. With, like the technique that makes it like super good. Uh -huh. Look at this. This one is just grilled. Beautiful this one is just fish. Grilled. Yes. yes. And vinegar. That's it. Pickled. It's so simple. It's so simple. Mm. Yet yeah. so complex and tasty. Yeah. Yes. Like fish and chips. Tasty. Like it's covered with salt and vinegar. Mm. You know, it's like. Yeah. It's never just the taste of the fish. Narodo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sad for the fish in England. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So happy I'm gonna go back to Austria. Oh. I haven't had this. I'm so happy. I'm so glad you said that. Oh.
Please come back to Japan again. Yeah, every six months. Yeah, every six months. Let's be here again. Let's have some more beans. <laughs> beans. Okay, so thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Have a good evening. Oh, beautiful episode. Yummy. I love koroke. That one, that fried koroke looks so delicious. He said it's not really oily. I love that. I love it. I also love that beans, the giant beans, and also that fish. Wow, looks so delicious. Really yummy. And of course, that giant sushi. I think it's a little difficult to eat. It's because it's so big. Some sushis are one bite sushi. But this one, totally big. Big portion, big serving. Mackerel fish, wow sounds so delicious i want to try it they're very happy with the meal they're totally in love with japanese food and japan well anyway thank you so much to miss momoka japan for this delicious episode and guys thank you also for watching with me i'll see you very soon